Hey, what's up, everybody? I uh, just found this forms plugin from Taylor Levitt that has me all sorts of giddy. So I wanted to make a quick screen demo and show you how this thing works. It's truly impressive, and it's the most excited I've been about a WordPress plugin in a while. So I wanted to uh, quickly show you how it works. There's some screenshots and things on uh, on his site. You should definitely go check those out. But seeing the whole experience uh, together is pretty pretty awesome. So, uh, like most forms plugins, you've got a, a nice little add form button here. And what's really sweet is media library modal. If I had an existing form, I could go in here and pick it from here. Uh, but I don't, so I'm going to create a new form. So this is. Uh, like I said, the WordPress media uh, library modal and this entire experience is built inside of it. It's pretty unreal. So I'm going to go ahead and choose some special fields. Let's drop an email in here. We'll just make a basic contact form. Uh, we'll drop in a name. Actually, let's put the name up here. Uh, you know, nice drag and drop experience. The We'll go ahead and put in a website URL uh, and we'll go ahead and uh, drop in a standard field paragraph tell us what you did to to bork your site basically uh, okay cool so we've got all these each one of these fields can be customized so you just tap the uh, or click whatever um, and you can choose whether or not you want the field to be required you can change the label so we're gonna say you know name because that makes sense here uh, We'll have, we can add an initial value for this email field, field label. We're going to call it email because that makes sense. And, you know, for like an e every one of these is going to have different options. So you can say it's required. You can uh, require confirmation, which means they're going to have to type it twice. Uh, we'll just say no to that for now. And each, we can go through each field, but uh, we're going to say these are all required. And what's your issue? And go back to website and say website URL. Sweet. So we've got some fields set. That's nice. Uh, standard fields, special fields, structure. That's HTML, section headers, things like that for more complex forms. And then some form settings. So we can give this form a title. We're just going to call this our contact form. Uh, we're going to call it a form, we'll give it a form description, this is a sweet form, and some button text, we can change the button text, uh, we're going to say, yeah, submit form, that works. And then when the form's all filled out and they hit submit, we can redirect to another page, or we can show text and say, woohoo, we have your message. And then we can choose whether or not to send email notifications. If we say yes, then uh, this auto populates with whatever email is set in general settings. I believe that's how it is set up on my on my local install. So I'm thinking that's how that works. So we're going to go ahead and save this form. And this is where it starts to get crazy. We're going to insert this form into our page and check this out. In the visual view, you're actually seeing your form. No short code. I mean, there is a short code, but there it has this beautiful uh, display that shows you, you know, the layout of the form and what it's going to look like on your page. Super nice. And then we can go ahead and obviously preview that on the page itself and take a look. And we've got this nicely structured theme. Uh, sorry, nicely structured form with all the stuff that we added. I mean it is an incredibly nice experience for creating forms. Uh, if you don't want to do it, you know, right on the page or post you still have the ability, uh, like a lot of themes to, like a lot of plugins, uh, to come do that here. You can check submissions for each of these and manage the form and change all those types of things. Submissions will display below. 
everything is just very well thought out, very well done, and it's free, which is crazy. So check this out. Definitely uh, test it out. Props to Taylor for taking the time to build something so robust and, and, and so well planned out. And that's it. But yeah, check out custom contact forms. Sick new, uh, well, rewritten WordPress plugin uh, that is awesome for forms.